Yes, I, I know that post was one month late, but look, it got delayed. It was from China, okay? Well, here he is. It's finally mine. The toy I always wanted. Studio Series Ironhide. Well, technically, it's a knockoff. Well, yeah, this is my first review, so I don't know what I'm doing right now. So, first thing, let's review how this figure looks like. I mean, yeah, it looks nice. I mean, the head is really detailed and clean. Well, it looks very pretty on the camera because I'm, I am only have a little storage left. For the arms, I don't really like how the windshields are attached to the arm. Yeah, I just didn't like it. Now, the legs look fine unless you turn around and see the massive truck bed kibble on the legs. Now for the articulation. His head can move side to side, up, down, because it's on a ball joint. He also can move like this if because of the lever thingy, whatever. His hands can move in 360. Now, this is the problem with the articulation. I don't like the arms are all the way back, so it makes it look really small. But it's okay. Arm articulation, it's okay, but I still wish it can done better. Fortunately, for the, the right arm, it's really loose. So, but I'm gonna get a screwdriver later, so that will be fixed in no time. Also, on the official version, the bumper is just sticking out. But, however, you can close it because this is a Weapon Master knockoff. Like articulation, he can go it go up and down, yes, side, side. It, unfortunately, it, oh wait, no, no, it can't swim, never mind. Even his, this guy's toe can move. I said toe because this one won't move. The thing that really sucks about this guy's articulation is the fact that it doesn't have a waist joint. Well, maybe because of the transformation, it's probably impossible to do it, so yeah. Now to my favorite part, the accessory. Only problem is, I've been lied. And was and it only gave me the, the shotguns from Dark Moon, so yeah, it's just Dark Moon Ironhide. And if you're wondering, yes, I did broke one of them. The names for the, the, the guns are Heavy Iron 1 and Heavy Iron 2. This is Heavy Iron 1. They said both of them were shotguns, but I saw in the Dark Moon game, it says it's a grenade launcher, so yeah, I like to match it's a grenade launcher. This one's Heavy Iron 2, and yes, this does look like- yes, this is definitely a shotgun, it just looks so much like what- it. He also comes with these two knives, and while pulling them on the- pulling one on the iron- on the gun, it- yeah, it broke. I don't know why it's here, but maybe like one of the older toys, like Rings of Fallen, I think. You can put it in here, and it looks like a bayonet. Or, you can slide it on here, which is probably what I'm gonna do now because I broke it. I think putting these things on are really hard, I have to- It's super tight, so I have to screw it in there to put it in. But still, these guns look really good on him. I mean, they're really detailed and all, I should've mentioned that first. But still, once you put them in, yeah, they look really good on him. There are these little slits right here where you can put on Ironhide's back. So if you put them in, you can recreate the look like he did in Dark of the Moon. But as I'm recording, I still don't know how to put the doors on, so I don't think this is how it's supposed to look like. Now, for some comparisons. Here he is next to Sideways, the closest thing I have to Sideswipe. Here he is next to Studio Series Soundwave. My knockoff, Last Night Leader Class Optimus Prime. Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. And Rise of the Beast Deluxe Class Mirage. Oh, and fun fact, the knives were super sharp. My mom had to dull with a nail clipper. And now it's time for Transformation. And, uh, yeah, it was really hard to do it. Well, here it is, Ironhide Transform, well, kinda, I couldn't put them together, this is the best I can do. Overall, it does look nice, except the fact that his, that you can see his eyes over there. At the back, there's a cutout of the Autobot logo, but they couldn't have to remove it because, uh, they don't have the trademark. They also have the GMC logo here, but it's not colored, so they don't get copyrighted. There was some I would sneak that in. Fortunately, because I don't have the accessories, there has there's this big gaping hole right here, which is really disappointing. 
can store his guns on the, in the back because there's these little nudges right there. And oh yeah, this is the toy. And now let's do some more comparisons. Here is he next to War for Cybertron Wheeljack. Here is he next to my super tiny Cyberverse Wheat Ratchet. I was about to say Wheeljack. And Optimus Prime. Overall, this was a really good figure, and I would give it about a uh, eight out of ten. Comment down below what figure you want me to review next.